This playthrough is rated M for Mature. What awaits us beyond the, the monastery and below, deep, deep, down, down, into Monastery Town? Let's find out today in this episode of Shadow Hearts. Greetings and salutations, viewers. Last episode of Shadow Hearts, we made our way to the monastery, did some malice cleaning, and uh, got ourselves the dark upgrade, and we ran into an old friend. Well, for those who played Kudelka, we ran into the real Roger Bacon. For those who hadn't played this game, it might be a surprise to you, but he's a crazy old man who apparently has weird future tech. And uh, we don't know a whole lot about him. He's a strange character, and right now his theme song's playing as we look at his uh, little, uh, yeah, his uh, little machine there that pops out uh, magical items and stuff like that. Yeah, strange indeed. But anyway, uh, off screen, I bought everything I need. However, if you're really short, short on cash and you don't um, uh, want to like kind of pinch those pennies, um, you don't need to buy a silver talent for for uh, our friend here, Yuri, because uh, the next dungeon will have an item for him. Um, there will be a weapon for uh, uh, Alice as well up ahead. You could hold off on that. Four God Staff, you could buy one if you're using Zhuzhen. Uh, 12 Gauge, you can hold off that. There's a gun you can get in the area. Um, Executioner Sword, um, I would suggest getting it. Uh, I do have a interesting blade for him. I'll show him off here in a second, like the weapon I got when you go uh, back to Godelka uh um, Kudelka is like a cell. Um, steel slingshot, we don't need to buy any of these, but I'm going to buy them just to read off the description, because unfortunately I can't read the descriptions without actually buying them. Uh, the Stygian robe, uh, buy one. You'd want to buy one for Yuri at least. Um, and a snow white robe. Um, you don't need to buy it for uh, Keith if you got the mantle uh, from the monastery ruins. Uh, there's also uh, armor for Haley, so you don't have to buy one for him if you don't want to. But yeah, I'd buy at least a Stygian robe and a Snow White robe, because Alice and Yuri are required right now, so you want something for them. Uh, uh, Accessories-wise, I bought one of everything just to have them in my inventory, even though I'm not going to use them. Really, the only big thing I would suggest buying is three willpowers to reduce SP lowering um, for the boss fight at the end of the monastery. Spoilers, there's a boss fight at the end of the monastery. Um, after that, I would just kind of beef up on maybe some... Uh, some of your roots to get a few like pure roots and mana roots not so much the terror roots although you could use them if you want to maybe buy some more talismans because yeah some people might be dying in the boss fight uh, because I don't really have the levels uh, to survive multiple hits I haven't been grinding levels I will eventually but not right now so but anyway let me oh yeah we now have the five uh, guild cards from the uh, guy inside the uh, mon uh, asylum we down uh, get up to 50% discount 25% raise I unless you're really really good at this game I'd probably just suggest doing the 40% sticking with it because some of the 50% ones are kind of insane especially if you because you if you're not aware of what the ring is gonna be and it's different per item uh, it'll be uh, it's crazy like what it looks like at 50% same with raising so I would stick to 40 because that's usually more manageable I did get 50% for all these because I'm insane but if you don't want to do that, that's perfectly fine with with me because that makes sense. So, but anyway, let's go ahead and buy the uh, steel slingshot and the high alloy slingshot just to look at their descriptions. Even though I don't actually, and no, I'm not actually. I can do the discount just to show you how crazy the discount gets if I actually do it right. I might mess up though. I'm not very. I'm not very. Uh, like I said, it took me forever to get the 50% on some of these. Even though like this is pointless because I'm just gonna reload the file after this. So we're at 30, so let's see if we can get actually get 40 on the first go. Oh, we get 40. Can we get 50? Can we get 50? Yeah, nope. <laughs> well, I could, but yeah, you have to double tap that one really quickly. So yeah, I have to pay for the full price on that. Uh, and no, I'm not going to I'm not gonna do the 50% on that one. Yeah, like I said, it just gets crazy to get 50% on. So. And yeah, as soon as you buy something, you pop it out of the, the box, and there you go. So all right, let's take a look at those slingshots that we have for... <clears throat> Alright, Steel Slingshot. Due to its powerful pull, it requires great hand strength that causes tremendous damage, even against enemies with strong defense. It may cause paralysis. So you might want to buy it if you want to do the paralysis, but the thing is, you probably shouldn't be physically attacking with Haley on a regular basis. Although, I think most of Haley's weapons are status afflicting, if I recall. Yeah, poison, silence, um, paralysis, and, uh, whoops, and high alloy slingshot. The super, wow, it's made of the wings of an angel. The super high alloy slingshot is as unique as it is powerful. Uh, superbly engraved on it is the slogan, Six Temper Tyrannus. Ooh, it's been a while since I studied my Latin. I'll have to look that up later. 
Uh, <clears throat> I think it's all hail Tyrannus or something like that, if I recall. But yeah, not required unless, let's see, the Imperial Slingshot is just slightly better. Uh, so if you take the time to make it, yeah, you can save yourself a bit of cash. So, all right, I'm going to go ahead and reset and I'll meet you uh, at the monastery. So I'll be right back. All right, we're back in the monastery here. So I decided to put Keith in the group. Uh, no specific reason. You can use Haley. Haley is probably your highest level at this point because of the previous area. So um, the only problem with, with Haley is having low SP, but he is a good backup healer for Alice and help with Yuri because some of the fights, or at least the boss fight here, can be a bit of a challenge. But Keith has his own way of doing it. Plus, I wanted to show off his weapon that we got back in Kudelka's cell. We got the Deathblade Jiru. Now this one's an interesting weapon. It is difficult to use because look at that rings. Look at that. That gives you no chance to hit it. Look at that. That's so small. But yeah, look at that. Uh, the reason for that is that it has the possibility of causing, uh, causing instant death when you use it. Um, I don't remember the chance being super high, but a lot of enemies actually aren't immune to it outside of bosses. So you have a possibility of killing things. But th the way that this game works, and the, you can get like straight up power and just kill things through damage more than that. So I don't really utilize it. But anyway, Deathblade Jiro. Cursed after shedding the blood of countless glitches, this razor-like blade gives off a ghostly essence and can cause instant death. And we have the mantle of nobility that we got here at the monastery, which gives, uh, which is a unique armor for Keith here. A silk mantle that shows high rank in the Darkness Clan, lined with the scalps of sacrificed clergymen, the wearer feels wrapped in night itself, cuts earth damage in half. Very nice. Um, not that there's earth enemies here. That, well, there are some, but nothing I really have to worry about. So, yeah, this is why I wanted to buy the Executioner's Blade, because, yeah, like, as interesting as it is to use the Death Blade Jiru, I'm more of a fan of straight damage, because the, the low the low ring, I mean, there are ways to improve your ring through items and stuff like that, but it is, like, you could buy you know, the coral area and use some items to improve it, but I don't think it's worth it with how small that is. So if pe the people are probably pretty good at that, could take advantage of that, but I'm not that good. Anyway, let's ex ex uh, equip the executioner sword we bought. Uh, massive sword used for beheading. Its blade is so sharp that it could easily slice a horse in two. Enormous strength is needed to wield it in battle. But yeah, the Jiru blade just gives you, it, I mean, all its hits are gonna be strikes, but or perfects, but yeah. So we're just gonna go with executioner's blade. And then let's uh, equip the Grand Bible to Alice here. Only the greatest of holy leaders may possess this book of prophecy. The book itself carries great mystical power. So let's equip that to her and give her the Snow White Robe. <coughs> holy robe worn by white witches during ceremonies to ward off evil. It is powerful defense. It is a powerful defense against envoys from the demonic world and is proof of high rank as a psychic medium. And then for oh yeah, and then for Yuri, uh, like I said, don't need to buy the silver talent because there will be a weapon for him later. But I bought it anyway just to show it off and to have a temporarily have good power till I unlock it, which actually won't take that long, but anyway. Silver claws gripped between the fingers, easy to use and accurate due to their light weight. An excellent weapon for the powerful fighter type, very valuable. And then equip the Stygian robe. A spiritual robe worn by Lorox when confronting evil. A bit costly, but offers excellent protection. Woven from super fine silk threads, it's light and has a unique sheen. Ha ha ha! All right, how's my, let's see, accessory wise, mind's eye. Um, yeah, we'll put the demon's earring just to get a bit more damage um, from our characters for now. Oh yeah, we'll leave the accelerator pedometer on you so we can... Oh yeah, I haven't checked with the silent peddler in a while. I need to check back and see how my uh, steps are going. I think I'm pretty close. Sorry to keep you waiting. I'll show you the latest secret that remains in these ruins. Alright. Is there really something here? Keep your eyes open! Is that how you open the door? You just dance? Michael Jackson could do that. You'll soon find out why I reside here. Go ahead. You, As you go ahead, you don't wait for us to go. Okay, then. Oh, this is creepy. Anyway, let's uh, save it really quick, so... I mean, I don't need to. I just saved it just a lot while ago, but... Bad habit and all that. Well, actually, that's a good habit, right? Just save it whenever, so... So this is the, the remnants of the... Oh, yeah. For those who play Kudelka, this area seems very familiar. What is this place? It's full of evil spirits. Can you sense the atmosphere of a curse and chaos that remains here? I'm proud of you. Kudelka's power sealed him, but his spirit remains. It makes me shiver to even think of him. Are you okay? Yes. Um, yes. Wrong voice. Yes, thank you. 
The large pot over there was used to create a human who shouldn't have existed. The lane's body, without her soul, turned into an inhuman entity. Patrick didn't intend for that. Since ancient times, this place has been called Neem. It contains a mysterious power. There are other places like this as well. Let's see. Uh, such as Easter Island, the civilization of Atlantis, and the lost continent of Mu. All of those places were situated upon the Earth's nerve points. Earth's nerve points? You mean like in acupuncture? Mm, that's right. The stars have a strong influence on this location. Unusual powers build up here. Builds up here. So this is a special place on the planet? Yes, it's where a certain something is sealed in place. And just as I thought, someone opened this door. This door was made in ancient times to seal the runes. You've seen a seal before, haven't you? This is an illustration of the soul that is called the Judgment Ring. Those three eyes drawn here describe motive, action, and outcome. Motive is the conscience of life. Action is the possibility of life. Outcome is the destiny of life. You know, originally the, the Judgment Ring was based, uh, the people who made this game originally worked on some pachinko machines and it had it in there. So they made the Judgment Ring based off their old pachinko machine. So, funny little bit of information. Receptacles of our souls, this is a common principle that all humans share. You're following your will to grab your future on your own. And you'll see the outcome of your action on the other side of the Door of Judgment. Door of Judgment? And at the end of this path shall you find Albert and Kudelka. They will be there without fail. This is the furthest I can go. You must decide on your own if you want to walk through the door or not. Well, we have to, otherwise the game will end. <laughs> kind Roger. You really think you'd come this far just to turn? We'd come this far just to turn back? We're determined to go to the ends of the earth long ago, buddy. You're right. That's why we're here, after all. Right on. Wow, this is so darn exciting. Oh, this makes me feel so alive. Uh, every character actually does have unique dialogue here. I don't remember everyone's, but like Haley says something about I have to do it for mom and stuff like that. So, <laughs> all right, let me open the door of judgment for you. I mean, it's not worth like doing everyone's dialogue for this, mind you, but uh, but yeah, if you want to see everyone else's, yeah, take someone else here. Uh, you know, there's a save not too far away, so I'll wait here. I'll trust that you'll be back. Thank you, Roger. All right, let's head on in. Oh, and Roger, as don't be full hired. Let me replenish your strength. Yeah, if you while you're here, every time you talk to Roger, he completely refills your HP. So this is a really good place to level grind or get some souls, uh, max out your souls for the for the it. But uh, yeah, we got ourselves a little mini dungeon here. I think it's the like last mini dungeon before the final penultimate dungeon, if I recall. Anyway, we've got uh, well some enemies here. All right, what do we got? Yeah, more reskins, but we've got Sin, Sin 1 and Sin 2. Do, 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 do. Sin 1 and Sin 2. No, uh, Sin 1 and Sin 2, and then we got the straight. Uh, let's see, Sin 1 is uh, light elemental, and straight is water elemental. Um, yeah, we can fight water, light, dark, and earth here. Uh, but anyway, let's uh, fusion Mad Bull so we can uh, just uh, range attack him. To death with the uh, rock storm and like I said we could just immediately go back go talk to Roger to heal ourselves afterwards so yeah you definitely I would probably suggest um, one of the I would say the best place to level grind just because Roger is there to heal you the main reason I say that is because at this point you probably got quite a few party members that are a little under leveled um, because of the whole required of Haley spot and everything like that so oh, I was getting to level I want to get her to level 35 by the time this is over um, because I want to get a spell. That'll help in the boss fight. But anyway, yeah, we see a couple of lot chests there. We can't open those for now. But there is a chest over here. The Silver Wolf Fang. So, yeah, the weapon for Yuri. As Like I said, if you don't want to buy it, you're going to get it almost immediately there afterwards. So, uh, it's not much stronger either. So, uh, made for the Enchanted Fangs of a Wolf King. A weapon created from the Fang of the Wolf King of Valdelg. It is said to hold great power, but no details are known because it's never been found. So... All right, and those, yeah, those chests we can't unlock. We have to do a special color puzzle. Now, interestingly enough, you actually don't have to do what I'm about to do. You could completely ignore this and go on with the plot, but there's a very good reward for doing that, so. The chests repel one another. The first chest repels the second, and the second repels the third. The third chest repels the first and second. If you open all three, the white mist barrier will open. Hmm. 
I see. So we got a couple chests there. There's nothing in them. They're part of this puzzle. And we got to uh, get rid of this mist. All right. Well, I already know what to do, but this is what you do as we head on over there. So, yeah, w this is a mini color puzzle. So as long as you remember your Roy G. Biv. All right. After that encounter, we maxed out our light elemental so I can go that. I finally got water level two after all this time. So um, also Keith gained a, uh, gained a new skill at 31. Hecatoncrity. Hecaton cherry, cherry? Something like that. But anyway, it's a giant. You summon the, the giant of the same name to cause a huge earthquake. So uh, it's a bit costly, but you know, a way to clear out the enemies. Or you could just fuse with the, with the uh, um, Mad Bull for, for the same results. So yeah, let's head on down this way. So anyway, if we get this hidden chest here, we get the Mauser prototype as a gun for, for Margaret. <clears throat> yeah, those guys back attacked me. That was kind of annoying. Oh yeah, the malice. I need to clean up the malice. Well, actually, I'll wait till it gets to, uh, yellow to clean it up. Um, yeah, I was trying to think if I wanted to wait till that one or not. So I do eventually want to build up my malice to red, but not right now. So anyway, let's head on down this way. Yeah, it's a little mini dungeon here. Yeah, there's really not much to the dungeon. But anyway, we want to close this chest here. Not quite, not quite, but we have to, yeah, according to the puzzle, all we have to do is open up two chests. We don't have to open up three of them. I mean, if you want to run back and forth and open up all of them and not solve it and uh, get experience for running back and forth, although I guess you could equip the uh, the one item that reduces the counters by half, so. But, uh, by the way, so you got Roger Bacon right, like, right there to heal you if you want. Freaking got back attacked again, Jiminy Christmas. The game won't stop with that. All right. Anyway, can we can we please get the get the the blue thing? Anyway, if we open up this chest, and boom, bit of bang, bada boom, we done it. All right. Let's flip the switch over here. What the? Turn something blue. We well, okay, keep that in mind as we continue on. So now we have to go all the way back west. And yeah, now that you know that there's a color thing, yeah, now we can open up uh, this chest over here. Now that that uh, blue light has been uh, dispelled. And we've seen the mind's eye, so we get a second mind's eye. Unfortunately, I probably want to quit that on anyone because really I'm not very good at like anyone else's weapons, like a apart from like Yuri's. Because everyone else is really slow. Although Haley could work because his uh, improved slingshot gives a really large um, judgment ring effect. All right. Uh, so uh, Al um, Alice gained a level there. So she learned the new skill. The arc skill restores all alloys HP fully with soft light. Yeah, this is a really good ability. This is why you might want to equip the 20% reduction in cost spells there. Because, yeah, this will definitely help against the boss. Now, you can do it without it. I actually play tested without the boss just to see if I could do it and I could so but anyway let's go and clean the malice really quick since I kept getting back attacked every other second jeez and I need to clean the malice out anyway because we've been fighting a lot of things here and we can go ahead and do uh, get the light max out our light um, summon as well that'll help with the boss um, too so all right let's encounter the let's see how am I on I think yeah I think I'm good so for the seal of the grave a soul oh, yeah we know that it's the same description every time, so. All right, for the final summon of the Light Fusion, the San, San Dolphin. Uh, San Dolphin? So, anyway, it's a, I believe it's an angel from the, uh, uh, not Germanic, um, Judeo-Christian Bible, I believe. I could be wrong. It's been forever since I've read the Bible. The only reason I know that actually is from uh, Shin Megami Tensei, because it uses a lot of um, obscure knowledge, because most people don't know who the heck this is. Like even if they're aware of, uh, you know, the Bible and stuff like that, because it's not mentioned in uh, the standard Bible, if I recall. You have to, like, read, uh, um, like I said, the Ju Judeo-Christian version, I believe, or something like that, anyway. But, yeah, I'm more familiar with the Shin Megami Tensei version of the game, because, like I said, they use the same thing. They like to use um, famous uh, figures from mythology, from different mythoses and religions in their games, so...
And I didn't have to use Turn to Bog, but I wanted to anyway, so. Sanctuary! Sanctuary! Now, good thing I'm not using uh, uh, special attacks on you, huh? There we go. And you're done, son. Alright, we got the soul of sound A feeling of compassion warms you. You've read, uh, received soul of sand dolphin. Yeah, the light of seal is carved there. Alright, now let's go ahead and get the water one since we're here. So, yeah, let's just use some uh, minor items since I have a natural. Let's go and just heal up just in case. The seal of the grave, a soul. Yeah, yeah. Sorry. I keep reading it out of habit when I know perfectly well there's nothing new here. Alright, anyway, we got the second level of the water creature, the Dragnar. Dragnir? Whatever. But anyway, let's just summon our strongest summon. Doesn't matter in this case. This guy will probably fall just because he's a level two. And we're, you know, we're using a level three, and we're using Mind's Eye, and we're using the physical attack uh, improvement, so. Yeah, he raises physical evade, so that's the only problem with fighting the water creatures is the evade. But, uh, shouldn't miss too badly. As I say, one good hit, you know. Not life do. Do the do! At least I'm showing off all these abilities, because a lot of these guys I don't even use. I mean, not that they're not useful, it's just, you know, it just depends on the boss fight and everything. Oh, we missed one. Now well, we knew it was going to happen eventually, so. Now I said we get to show off all his attacks, so. And we dodged it. Sorry, so sad, your dad. There we go. We get the soul of Dragoner for a feeling of res resignation overcomes you. We receive the soul of Dragoner. All right. Anyway, let's equip the 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 um, the light soul, Sun Dolphin, and yeah, another case of question mark, question mark, question mark. How how do we unlock this? I will go over that eventually, soon, soon, soon. We'll save that for the end game stuff. So anyway, let's clear out, clear out the malice really quick. <laughs> you wish to quiet the malice? Let's quiet the malice. Against the the gust, uh, gust Dre. Now you want to, well, I'll t actually, I'll tell you the no turning back point when it comes to malice stuff. Because there is a point where we won't have to mess with this anymore. Um, mainly for the final dungeon, which makes sense, really. And there will be, we'll, we'll explain, not today, but we will explain it, why that's the case. Oh, did I actually finish him off in one go? <laughs> All right. You guys, uh, guys impressed? Maybe? No? Yes? Anyway, we got a seal of speed for that. Awesome. I like when I get the, the, I need to remind myself to actually use the permanent item stuff because I haven't been doing that. Um, because I have a ton of them and I can finally use them now that I've got everyone in the, in the crew. All right. Let's, uh, get Roger Bacon to heal us again. And go back inside. All right, let's continue on through this place. But yeah, I'm getting uh, I'm getting attacked quite often when I play test this. I don't remember getting attacked that regularly. Oh, we got the another new enemy here, the inverse. Uh, let's see. I think I'm thinking there's only like one more enemy I'm missing. Uh, yeah, the uh, the dark enemy is the only one I'm missing from this place. So maybe we'll run across them in the, in the by the end of this episode. Then I can go over the library stuff for it. Wait, he has more than more than 500 HP? Insane. Yeah, he's actually quite a tough little punk, isn't he? Yeah, he's gonna shoot us to death. So now we'll just have Keith go. There we go. All right. Yeah, 
Let's continue on. All right, now that we got the blue light, we can now go a different direction. So let's head on this way. Hmm, what's that? A purple light. All right, well done with that. So luckily I didn't get back attacked. But anyway, there's a red switch here. Let's go and flip it. Remember your colors, children? What does red and blue make? Purple. Yeah, so with that, we can open that to chest. What's inside the chest? You received the Holy Book of Martyrs. So that is a new book of wep uh, weapon for Alice there. The Book of Martyrs, Holy Book of Martyrs. Holy Book stained with the blood of martyrs who labored for countless years in service against the power forces of evil. Strong spiritual power. So let's equip that to her and continue on. So yeah, we're getting some really nice equipment here for everyone. And yeah, we're starting to get unique equipment for people in terms of armor and stuff too, like with the uh, um, Keith and stuff like that. Now there, this fire pit here is important. We'll check that out after we finish what we're doing here, but I wanted to show that off. So All right, let's head on this way. And yeah, we get a good, better sense of the light there. And yeah, they even animated a fish in the water. Nice little attention to detail. And yeah, there's that green switch over there, so we'll have to get to that. So. Now, if you want to continue on and just finish this place, just go to the right there, and that'll take us to the the end of this place. But we don't want to do that yet. So, but we want to hit that green switch. Now it turns it white. Remember, there was a there was a uh, um, one of those boxes with a white symbol on it. All right, Keith and uh, Yuri gained a level from that. No new abilities or anything like that. But yeah, like one of the chests has that yellow like bear or white barrier on it. So now we can go. Yeah, unfortunately we got to go all the way back. But luckily this dungeon really isn't that long. Most of the dungeons in this game are actually pretty quick. I say the only dungeon that maybe gives you a bit of trouble is the one in Asia, where if you don't know where you're going, you might run around in circles for a hot minute. But even then, this game doesn't really isn't really designed to have crazy barriers and stuff like that on it, so... Oh, right, I was about to go down for some reason. But So I, I like the fact that this game doesn't have any super crazy long dungeons. Not that I don't mind dungeons, but... But I've had so many games with dungeons where I don't, like... Uh, like, it, they were so long and then something would happen and I either couldn't finish it or I had to take a break, but there was no save spots in between and it was, it was just crazy. But anyway, let's grab that white aura box over here. And inside we get... The Code of Sages for Zhu Jin. So that's his unique armor. And then there's the last one will be another unique set of armor. But <clears throat> anyway, if we go all the way back to the blue uh, light and remove it, we turn it into a yellow light so we can open up the final chest. But before that, I do that, I'm going to go ahead and clear the malice again so I can uh, get the unique um, monster for that. So let me do that really quick. All right, gained a level for Alice there. But uh, yeah, just so I can get the uh, complete the bestiary, which actually I need to fight a battle to fight that bestiary as well. So yeah, let's clear that out really quick. Won't take a hot minute. I'm getting all this stuff out of the way now, so I don't have to do it later. <clears throat> Show you like all the different um, monster encounters. So <laughs> you wish to quiet the malice. We'll quiet this malice against the guys as we. All right, let's, uh, yeah, just use whoever. I mean, I guess I don't have to show these off because there's really not much to these fights, to tell you the truth, so. I mean, they'll attack me and do damage, and that's pretty much it. Yeah, see, so just as easy as that, so. And then we'll clear out the malice. If I don't get the next level, I can clear out the malice when we get to the, the exit door. So the pure leaf for that. All right. And it's random, by the way. There's really no way to... I talked about this before, but there's really no way to, like, guess how to get it to spawn like that. I know you can kind of manipulate if you have the the band, like the bandit ring or um, the one that increased items drops or experience drops. You can kind of manipulate stuff that way if you know which enemies have what. But... Um, this is one of those games where I don't know enough about all the enemy drops to really go into detail, and it's not... This game is not that hard to, like, do that, to tell you the truth. So, but anyway, now that we've unlocked the yellow uh, box, we can now go all the way back to that. So, yeah, not a, not a dangerous dungeon. 
All right, so <coughs> luckily if I don't fill up the malice, I'll be able to uh, show off the the basic malice cleanse. And like I said, all you have to do is one fight for that. Oh, finally, the final random enemy of this place, the guinea pigs. They're uh, dark elemental. Um, I was wa I was wondering if one of those were going to drop. I was like, man, I kept fighting all the others, so I don't need dark elementals because obviously I've already maxed that out. But uh, uh, I guess I could have still used a... Uh, uh, whoops. <laughs> I guess I could have still used a Mad Bull just because um, I don't have my area of attack or ability or my super ability for... Uh, this group, but I can actually show off what they, what they do, so. And I can't give status ailments. Um, I forgot which ones it gives you, actually. Some of these monsters you can defeat so quickly that sometimes I, I forget, like, what each monster could do. Instant death. Okay, it was death that, that can do that, so. Well, too late for that, I guess. Huh. All right. Oh, right. You can't use that on him. Hmm. Well, I guess I'll, uh, I guess I'll Talisman of Lucky. All right. One of the few times Yuri gets killed in this game. Actually, let's go off and show off Hecatonkrity or whatever. I mean, it's nothing that impressive, but it's cool. Yeah, just summons uh, Earth Pit to uh, kill the enemies. It's still cool, I guess. Anyway, Keith gained a level. Yeah, we don't. We already have Dark Element Max, so I don't really need that. So, man, talking about the game just wanting me to fight monsters all the time. I, I mean, I could equip that item that reduces the encounters in half, but you know, I need the levels. I mean, everyone's a bit behind anyway, so. Anyway, the final item the box here, we receive the Seal of Vitality. All right, let's go back. And uh, now that we've uh, opened up all the boxes that have a color to them, if we head back to that fire pit I mentioned before, we'll get something. But what? What awaits us inside? Nothing happens if you haven't done the color puzzle, by the way. But if we open up all the color boxes, we get the Destruction Stone. Now, you're probably thinking, well, what does that mean? What does that do? Oddly shaped stone, and emits a strange power, the likes of which cannot be felt anywhere else on Earth or above. Hmm. Now, why do we need this? Now, you don't actually need this. However, we get a nice... We get something nice for this. And the thing is, you have to get this thing now. Otherwise, you can't... If we finish this dungeon and don't get that stone, uh, then we can't get the benefits of that stone. We can... I don't, Actually, I don't even know if you can get it after after beating this part. Like, I think you were blocked off on it. There's a reason to get the stone. Anyway, you already gained another level, so. All right, well, I was gonna show off the basic level uh, malice thing, but now that I got the second level, I'll have to clear it out and then uh, fight into the battle. So, okay, anyway, here we get the seal of strength, and here we get the punk jacket. It's a unique armor for Haley. So what I'm gonna do really quickly is I'm gonna go ahead and clear the malice fight a battle so I can show off the clearing the malice when you're at base malice and then go over that so I'll be uh, right back in just a second so uh, give me a moment all right we fought a battle and we gained a level for Keith and Alice so they're well they're at their levels anyway let's clear out the malice for the very base level of malice hoo 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 yes I do want to clear it And for the very base malice, we get a gust ein there. So yeah, nothing. It's just a bat. I wish every bat, rat, and cat would be destroyed at once. No, uh, just bite them off. I was about to say one, two hit, maybe one, two buckle my shoe will finish them off. And that's it for the gust spirits. So let's go over the um, library. As soon as the game wants us to. There we go, Terry. Leave for that. All right. Oh, you guys are going to get yours eventually. Not today. Maybe tomorrow. Or the day after. It'll, it, depending on how my episodes go. But anyway, let's check over the valuables on. Or the um, uh, library on that. 
So let's check off the what we've unlocked. So the gust of ire, concentration of disease in the graveyard that took that took a shape. It acts as a key to open the dark world and release a god. Gust dry, concentration of disease in the graveyard that took a shape. It acts as the key to open the dark god and release a, a dark world and release a god. Oh, I think they all have the same description. Still, show it off anyway. So, and then Ein, the bat. And then we got the evils. And then we got the inverse here. Ghost that has resided in the Nimitin Monastery for a long time. It roams amongst the ruins now. It is a soul that will never be saved. The guinea pig. Unblessed life born of Nimitin Monastery spirit. It has intelligence but no human emotions. It acts on instinct. Ew, look at that. Gross. That's a lot of tech animation. Sin. Female ghost that began to appear since the monastery burned down. She appears from the underground and disappears into the pond of the sanctuary. She speaks in a strange language. And then the straith. Strange entity born from the spirits within Nemetin Monastery. Considered by uh, some as a fallen angel. It is a gruesome mixture of bird, human, and plant. So that, uh, that's what awaits in here. But what awaits us beyond the door here? Albert, Cardinal Albert Simon, the protege of Roger Bacon, waits beyond us with Kudelka here. Will we be able to get his great power? Will he summon with it? Will we be able to stop him? And will he have one big middle finger to the party to set up the final stage of the game? We'll find out next time in the next episode of Shadow Hearts. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. And I'll see you next time.